fashion, style. We can't get enough of it. We're addicted to the perfect look, the perfect body and the perfect smile. But when we're flicking through the pages of a fashion magazine, do we really think about the work that has gone into developing that look, to keeping that smile as perfect as the camera demands? In our image-conscious society, success often depends upon looking your best. Most of us don't realise just how much we rely on the skills of the dental technician to help us to maintain a perfect smile. to popular belief, cosmetic dentistry doesn't stop at the door of the dental surgery. It's the dental technician who takes the information from a dentist and builds a new smile for the patient. It's the technician who designs and refines each individual job to fit perfectly into the patient's mouth. In the lab, technicians develop their skills in a number of areas, including plaster casting, wax pattern fabrication, metal casting, porcelain application, grinding and polishing, all involving the use of specially designed equipment. Well, I think it's an exciting time for uh, young people entering the field of de dental technology now. They have so many opportunities and so many career paths to follow. You could either make dentures or crowns, or orthodontics and maxillofacial as well. So you had a variety and you could then decide which you wanted to go into in the future. The reason I like being a dental technician is to be able to get a job, take it from start to finish, produce a nice piece of work that fits and will produce a nice smile. It's good working in a lab because everybody has to work together to get it 100% for the dentist. There's always something different to learn, always something new. It's a very challenging job and you have to be skilled with your hands and be creative. Dental technology requires an unusual mix of artistry and technical skill. Each case is different, every mouth has unique characteristics. The challenge for the dental technician is to match these characteristics so that their work blends seamlessly with the rest of the mouth. This skilled craftsmanship takes time to develop. Trainee dental technicians have a variety of options to consider to gain the registrable qualification with the General Dental Council including part-time apprenticeships, full-time college courses and degree courses. While at college, dental technology students will receive training in all areas of lab work before beginning to think about specialisation. They'll need to be highly skilled in manual craft work and therefore must display good skills in practical manual dexterity, usually with a good artistic ability. They also need good hand-to-eye coordination and well-developed colour perception. A keen interest in science can be an advantage, as technicians will need to understand the materials they use and how technical processes affect them. Uh, it suits people who are artistic, particularly, that can uh, create aesthetic results that look natural. Dedicated to the job, to have a fine eye for detail, um, quite artistic really. People who have a good understanding of materials uh, and, and the working of materials. Someone that's looking for a varied career, uh, someone that enjoys working as part of a team. Each case presents a new challenge. It's common practice now for dentists to supply digital photographs of the patient's mouth in order to assist the technician in the design of the correct size, shade and shape for the replacement tooth. The success of each case is due to the skill and artistry of the technician and what he or she can achieve to mimic nature in the lab environment. There are a lot of exciting new technologies coming into uh, the dental arena now. Uh, CAD CAM is becoming quite big. We can uh, take a lot of the traditional ideas and techniques and transfer them to the uh, virtual arena. So uh, technicians design uh, their crown or bridge units uh, in software and then the machine makes it highly accurately. But there still needs to be an understanding for the traditional techniques and materials that are involved. The importance of information technology to the industry is growing all the time. Computer-aided design tools are used to complement the work of the skilled craftsman. The use of lasers provides a degree of accuracy in cutting and shaping that allows for the perfect result every time. 
Students receive extensive training using CAD CAM design tools while at college. There are new developments all the time. Training will continue after qualifying for those who want to stay ahead in a very competitive marketplace. Once registered with the General Dental Council, technicians can then go on to specialise in their chosen field. Crown and Bridge, Prosthetics, Orthodontics and Maxiofacial. Experienced technicians can find well-paid positions in commercial laboratories, become department heads in larger labs or potentially own their own laboratory. Additionally, dental technicians may teach dental technology courses in educational programmes as well as apply their knowledge to research, sales and or marketing of prosthetic materials, instruments and equipment. In four years when I've completed my college course and I've passed and everything, hopefully I'll be able to go on to do other things as well as copings and gold crowns and I want to be able to do implants and go on other courses and further my knowledge. In the future I'd like to go to college to become qualified to be a dental technician and hopefully specialise something in a number of years such as implant work. Do an advanced course in prosthetics, move into another field, for instance Crown and Bridge, and then hopefully open up my own laboratory. If you would like to know more about dental technology as a career, then the Dental Laboratories Association should be your first point of contact. You can contact them on 0115 925 4888 or look up their website at www.dla.org.uk. There's a lot of job satisfaction being a dental technician. Uh, from taking a job from start to finish, um, you do get some challenging cases in, but when they're completed and you can look back at them and know that a patient's going to be happy with the finished result, it, it is very satisfying. The most rewarding part of the job that I feel is the fact that every job is individually made and when it goes out it's been handcrafted and the fact that the surgeon rings back and says how wonderful it is and how pleased he is. I really enjoy my job, I'm proud of the work that I do and I know it makes a difference to patients' lives.